Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional, Something Deeper. It is Tuesday, so thanks for joining me this Tuesday. I just dropped my daughter off at the airport, along with her two children. And they're flying back to Arizona where their husband, where her husband is waiting for them. And I'm sure they're going to have a great reunion. But it's sad for us to see her go. I don't know if you know this, but I have the best daughter that's ever been in the world. That's kind of like this life, though, isn't it? This life is a series of little goodbyes and little reunions until the final goodbye. And that's probably the hardest thing we face in this earth when the ones we really deeply love, we have to say goodbye for the final time in this life. But that's one of the wonderful things about faith. For those who are in Christ, there is no final goodbye. The, Thessalon the Thessalonians were concerned about this. They were sitting around waiting for Jesus to come back for all of them and take them into eternity. And it took a little while. And in the meantime, some people died. And they were obviously concerned that they might miss the resurrection. They might miss Jesus coming again. And Paul wrote to them in First Thessalonians 4. Starting with verse 13, this is what he wrote. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. He's saying we do grieve, but not like everybody else. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. And so, friends, I want to come to you and encourage you with these words. We're, we're going to meet again. Everyone who's in Christ, anytime we leave one another, we're going to meet again. We're either going to be here or in the air but we will meet again. And when we meet together in the air, we will be with the Lord forever. And that means we will be with each other forever. So that's the important thing about knowing that we're in Christ and our loved ones in Christ because that is the only hope, but it's a perfect hope, that we will live forever with Christ and in fellowship with one another. It'll be interesting to be in heaven with our ancestors and our descendants our friends, our loved ones, and to see the, how, how the relationships change. But I'm sure, if anything, they will be deeper. And the one relationship that we have with God. What a wonderful thing to look forward to. I, I just want to encourage you today. That's what we're looking forward to. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we have hope, not like the rest of mankind. And I pray we would not hold on to this hope to ourselves, but that we would share it with others, especially with those who are grieving today. Thank you that, Lord, we grieve, but don't grieve like those who have no hope, because our hope is a certain future. Thank you, Father, for making that possible. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you all. I love you all. And so we will see you either there or in the air. Take care. Good night.